If you need archival, intense, highly pigmented true process colors with a similar viscosity to oil-based inks, you might want to consider Speedball's Printmaster's Relief Inks. When you choose Speedball water-based relief process color inks and mediums, you are choosing a unique combination of benefits, including flexibility to work with a broad range of techniques, freedom to use both reductive and additive methods, viscosity similar to that of oil-based inks, compatibility with other Speedball water-based inks, shorter drying times between layers, and faster, easier, more economical, and completely non-toxic cleanup process. In addition to these benefits, Printmaster's inks can be used in combination with a transparent extender base to create a comprehensive range of vibrant, intense colors, transparencies, tints, tones, and shades. Process colors. Process cyan, magenta, and yellow differ from the traditional primary colors of blue, red, and yellow in the pureness of pigment. The pigments used in process colors are extremely singular and do not have the neutralizing complementary overtones that pollute and create less than spectacular results. For example, when cyan and magenta are mixed in varying proportions, vibrant purples and violets are created, unlike the disappointing grayed colors, lackluster maroons, and muddied brownish purples that result in mixing standard primary blue and primary red. Thanks to this technique of varying proportions, these extremely pure process colors can be used to create a full spectrum of colors. Also, a range of quality tints and shades are possible with the addition of white or black ink. Essential processes. Mixing. Process colors can be physically mixed on the palette in varying proportions of cyan, magenta, and or yellow to create a range of pure colors, or they can be mixed with transparent extender base in anticipation of colors created by transparent overlay. For example, when equal parts of cyan and magenta are mixed on the palette, an intense purple results. Likewise, when an equally transparent cyan layer is printed over a transparent magenta, a luminescent and vivid purple emerges. Whether the purple takes on a bluish or reddish character depends on the proportion of cyan to magenta in the mix. If white is added to colors, full-bodied tints result. When mixed with black, deep shades of the color are created. In each case, the tonality of the color depends on the proportion of white or black. Tints. To create a tint, start with a quantity of white approximate to the amount of ink needed to print and gradually add the base color. Keep adding color until the desired tint is created. If you reverse this procedure and add white to the base color in an attempt to create a tint, you are more likely to mix a surplus of the desired tint. Shades. To create a shade of color, mix the approximate quantity of color ink needed to print and gradually add the black until the desired shade is achieved. How the mediums work, extender and retarder. For multiple block additions, designate a block for each process color. The proportional influence of each color in conjunction with the other layers of color can be controlled by how you cut the block. In areas where the influence of the color is to be less, cut an approximate texture to reduce the surface area, thereby reducing the visual intensity of that particular shape or surface. The saturation or intensity of the color can be manipulated by the ratio of shade, tint, color to transparent extender base. The higher the ratio of transparent extender base to pigment, the lighter the tonality or perceived saturation is. Just as extenders play an important role in tone and perceived saturation, retarders create opportunities by slowing the drying process so inks can interact appropriately as each layer is applied. A retarder will slow the drying process so that the paper does not stick or shred on the block, ruining the print physically. It also extends the time rolled ink is usable so that ink is not wasted. Retarder must be added in a variety of situations, such as 
if the ink is drying so it cannot be successfully rolled. If printing paper is sticking and tearing so the ink is not transferring properly. If solid areas look dry and spotty. Now that you have the basics, there are all kinds of printing techniques you might want to try. Here are just a few. Thank you.